Alright, welcome everybody to the video. My name is Castius. This is going to be a tutorial on setup for the client to play on any EQ emulated server. <coughs> but, you know, with an emphasis on playing on Imperium, of course, since that's my server. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is you need to register an account here at eqemulator.org. I will leave a link in the description to this. And all you have to do is go through. I'll just quickly do it. Uh, random gamer is my name. <laughs> Password is something. Sure, I don't need to include this, but you know, why not? Scars of Velius. I don't know why they ask you that. I don't know, let's say August uh, 10. 1978, sure. We're gonna hide that. The rest of these don't matter. Complete. Okay, so after you've registered, you'll get an email. I see it's already come through. There it is, blah blah blah. Complete. Click that. Thank you, random gaming. Your register is complete. Okay, at this point, all you have to do is go. Oh, back in should already be logged in but if you're not you know log in and then you have to go here and you need to go create an account for the login server so you create an account so the first account is actually just for the forums this is so you can log in to the login server Okay, now I've got a login account. Uh, this email verification actually takes a little while to come through, so you might have to wait a day. It takes a bit, as you can see in here. It wasn't as instant as the first one. Anyways, we don't need that anymore. So we created our accounts, we're good there. So now we head over to the Imperium forum, that's where you're gonna find our client and all the files you're gonna need. Those are found here. So you go into the general discussion and you're looking for the official Imperium Roth 2 client right there at the top. So all you got to do is go here. You're going to click on that link. It's going to redirect you to Mediafire. And then it's just this big old green button right here that says download. I'm not going to do that right now. I already pre downloaded it. Okay, so we got that. So we're going to go back into the general discussion and we want to find the DBSTR files and and whatnot. Uh, the client is going to come with all this stuff, but if the client's version is a little bit older and these have been updated, you'll see down here that these were updated June 21st, 2020. So these are the latest in and included. <clears throat> uh, okay, so... You're going to want to download the dbstr file and the spell us file same thing it's going to take you to mediafire download those no big deal i've already pre-done that so i'll find those here in my download file as you can see i have the client and the two files i'm talking about so at this point you're just going to want to extract the client and I like to put it on the desktop. You can put it wherever you want, but please note if you put it in your program files, um, you're gonna have to run the client every single time with administrator writes so that it'll write to the files when you save your, your GUI layout and all that stuff, which is really annoying. So I just save it to the desktop. It's just easier for me. So there we go, while that unpacks. 
we're just going to kind of hang out. Uh, this is for the client setup to play e EQ or EverQuest on an emulated server, specifically the Imperium server. So while that runs, there's really nothing else to do. It's just going to unpack. As you can see, it's right up here. As soon as that's done, we're going to take these two files and drop them right into this folder, into the main directory. And then there's a tiny little bit more setup, and that'll be it. <laughs> All righty. There's just some weird stuff going on in chat. Uh, this is going to take a couple minutes. 33% of the way, 34. Yes, soup is good for you. Nobody can deny that. Soup is delicious. No, this is tea. Soup marination, Japanese nation. Okay. Those don't quite rhyme, but all right. Oh, we're over halfway there. We're getting there. Soup and scoop. Yep. I'd count that as a rhyme. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> yep. Yep. Droop. Two? I no. I don't think that rhymes. Totally going to cut this part of the video out when I post it to YouTube because this is boring. Watching it process. Woo! Exciting! Right. Those are all just the different files it needs to run the client. It's a it's not a dot egg, it's a dot EQG. I believe it stands for an EverQuest graphics file. Yeah, it's a Q. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. That didn't take too, too long. <clears throat> that ruined my egg immersion. Nice. That's totally excellent. All right, so we're going to grab these two files. Copy those. Go right in here into the main directory, and we're just going to paste those in anywhere. We're going to replace the files that are already in there, and that's done. Okay, so at this point, you're want to gonna you're gonna want to scroll down and find the. Did I go past it? Yeah, I went way past it. You're looking for the EQ game. Somewhere up here. Okay, here we go. 
So that's the icon. That's not what I'm looking for. Or, oh no, it's going to be a little bit more up here. EQ game. This is the one. So you want to create a shortcut of this. And then you're going to want to drag that to, I don't know, your desktop. Somewhere easy to find. You can rename this, whatever, it doesn't matter. So you're going to want to go into properties on your shortcut. And right here at the end of the target, you just want to put a space and write patch me. Apply that, say OK, you're done. That's pretty much it. There's one more step. So we're going to run this just to show that it probably won't boot. <clears throat> oh, it did. Look at that. That was easy. Okay, but if it doesn't, you want to go into this resources folder. Here, let me close downloads. So in your main directory, there's this folder called resources. You're going to want to go in that. No, sorry, not resources. Uh, Redist. It's Redist. Redist and the DirectX file. If you get an error when you're trying to run the client, this is what you want to do. You want to go into Redist and you want to run this, the DX setup. EXE. This is going to install Direct, DirectX 9.0C on your computer and allow you to run this old game. <laughs> but seeing as how this computer already has it, it doesn't need to do that. And that's it. Log in, start playing. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps anybody that uh, was confused or didn't quite know how to set it all up. All right. Have a great day or have a great night. Happy adventuring.